welcome to this issue of Wally Life, a television magazine show about life around Lake Wall and Pawpack. In this episode, we take you on a trip down memory lane. Go to Holly's Winterfest and look ahead to Wally Ice Fest. 2016 was so much fun for us at Wally Life that we can't help but go back and look at some of the best moments. Enjoy! We at Wally Life would like to thank everyone in the Lake Wall and Pawpack region, and especially our supporters, viewers, and advertisers. We can't wait to show you where our adventures take us in 2017. Hi, I'm Lorraine Collins with Davis R. Chant Realtors. With over 50 years of serving the Lake Wall and Pawpack region, Chant Realtors sells more homes by volume than any other realtor in the area. The Lake Well and Pawpack area is an attractive place to live because of its low taxes, great school districts, and beautiful scenery. Agents at Davis R. Chant Realtors have an extensive knowledge of the local market and experience with everyone from first time home buyers to experienced investors. Chant uses a variety of print media, billboards, open houses, and national websites to promote properties and reach buyers. We work with sellers to put together a thoughtful but aggressive market plan tailored to each home individually. Here at Chant, we know that working together and providing channels of communication and feedback is important for the best outcome when selling your home. We provide a unique feature called Seller's Dashboard to our sellers, which allow you to view up to the minute online information about your home, including how it is being marketed, how often it is being shown, and notes from agents and buyers. If you are ready to relocate, upgrade, downsize, or know anyone who is considering the Lake Region, please stop by or call Davis R. Chant Realtors at 570-226-4518 or visit us online at chantre.com. i2Print is your premium printing service for all your professional printing needs. We'll help you throughout the printing process from design to distribution. With bookbinding abilities, we'll be able to help you get the word out or promote your business with branded assets and products. i2Print offers top quality print products at competitive prices with quick turnaround and fast delivery. From business cards, large format posters, brochures and wrap cards to annual reports, i2Print can print everything you need to promote your product, service and business. With 
the best printing technology available today, we live up to our tag, service, speed, and success. Choose I2 Print for your next printing project. The Sterling Business and Technology Park consists of 252 acres of greenfield property, which is currently divided into 23 lots ranging in size from 3 to 30 acres. Lots can be combined or in some cases subdivided if needed. Each lot in the park is KLZ certified for companies that qualify. KLZ properties offer tax-free status for up to 10 years, giving your company more resources to grow your business. The Sterling Business and Technology Park is perfectly located just off Exit 17 on Interstate 84 in Northeastern Pennsylvania. I-84 is an underutilized interstate corridor offering mile-a-minute travel speeds and is centrally located in the Northeast, just under two hours from New York City. Scranton is just 20 minutes away and 50% of the nation's population is within a day's travel of this location. Also, Sterling Business and Technology Park is an easy commute for a workforce of over 500,000 potential employees from a three-state area, including Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York. So, if you would like to explore locating your business at Sterling Business and Technology Park, visit sterlingbusinesspark.com. We can also be reached by phone at 646-236-236. 3400 or email Troy at sterlingbusinesspark.com. Tune in to Wally Life every Monday at 9 p.m. on Blue Ridge Communications Channel 13 for the latest in life around Lake Wall and Paw Pack. The 30 minute television magazine show will take you around the lake region and give you a viewing experience like none other. Check it out and get your adventure fix or find out where to take the kids this weekend, and everything in between. Hey folks, do you wonder why you see so many B&B Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram vehicles here in the Northeast? It's no secret, ask the owner. You'll find out B&B Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram in Honesdale not only offers great deals, but you can't beat the knowledgeable and friendly sales staff and the exceptional factory trained service technicians. Going shopping for a new or used vehicle? Stop by B&B Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram in Honesdale and make a deal. Get pre-approved. Check out our inventory. Go to bnbdodge.com or better yet, visit our showroom at 125 Grandview Avenue, Honesdale. BNB, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. You'll love your new car or truck if you get it from BNB. Be and be better and better. I'm Mary Beth Wood, Executive Director of Wayne Economic Development Corporation. Let me introduce you to another outstanding Wayne County business. Sculpted Ice Works, providing raw ice blocks, ice sculptures, and ice events throughout the Northeast. Hello, I'm Mark Crothamel, founder and president of Sculpted Ice Works. There's a lot of cool stuff I want to tell you about ice. Ice Works was born in 1999. I started with the notion that I could make a living and create a better quality of life for my family and me. I didn't grow up thinking I wanted to be in the ice business. I wanted to be a chef, and so I entered the culinary arts program at Johnson & Wales University in Providence, Rhode Island. Our class was divided into small groups, and each group was to carve a block of ice. Our block broke halfway through the carving, and it was then and there that I was determined that ice carving was not for me. I graduated from Johnson & Wales and became a chef at Earhart's Waterfront on Lake Wall and Pawback. In 1995, the Earhart family expanded their facility and, and opened a banquet center. Ice carvings began to become popular and it wasn't long before one of the wedding parties suggested that they would like to have an ice carving of a swan on their head table. I ordered a 350 pound block of ice and my college experience repeated itself. The block shattered because I forgot to temper the ice. On my second try to carve a swan, and after treating the ice properly, I began. Using a rusty wood chisel, handsaw, crowbar, 
and with the support of a dishwasher named Pete, we ended up with a bird-like sculpture we called a Swamingo because it looked like a cross between a swan and a flamingo. The couple was satisfied with the ice carving, but more importantly, I said to myself, now I'm an ice carver. Better and more modern tools and lots of practice in a few more years, I realized I actually had a talent for working with ice. Sculpted Iceworks is a year-round business where we specialize in providing custom, wholesale, and retail ice sculptures for all special occasions, activities, and events. We also spend many days on the road performing demonstrations for clubs, organizations, and civic groups. From our ice factory, we harvest and supply ice for others doing the same type of things in other cities and in other states. Now our team of ice carvers is very competitive at regional and nationally sanctioned ice carving competitions. And we even host several invitational competitions of our own each winter. In 2007, we introduced Crystal Cabin Fever, an interactive ice event of our own that is held right here on Iceworks property. Crystal Cabin Fever attracts thousands each February to our sleepy little town of Lakeville, Pennsylvania. Thank you for listening to my story. I'm proud to be part of the modern ice business and to be able to provide fun and enjoyment with our classic ice sculptures. If you're looking to grow or expand your business in Wayne County, give Wedco a call at 570-253-5334 or look us up on the web at wedcorp.org. Libraries are an important resource for local communities and the Northeast Chapter of the Pennsylvania Library Association helps support them. The Northeast Chapter of the Pennsylvania Library Association helps spread literacy of all kinds throughout the Lake Wall and Pulpac region of the Northern Pocono Mountains. The importance of a high literacy rate and having resources available to the public in any community is paramount, which makes the work of the Northeast Chapter of the Pennsylvania Library Association so important to the Lake region. We are seven libraries spread around Wayne County from north to south. Um, the northernmost is in Lakewood, the southernmost is in Newfoundland. And we provide not just books, but space for the community to use. Um, we have groups at our libraries for all kinds of different reasons, book clubs and knitters and quilters and game players. We have Scrabble and Canasta. So it's a place, it's a public space. We also have computers that people can use and wireless, so you can bring your laptop. Most of us use volunteers in ways from sitting at the checkout desk downstairs um, and checking books in and out, um, helping to shelve books that are returned, helping to find books that people want to pick up in another library so um, they can put a book or a DVD on hold or one of our other materials. And we have a delivery system that goes among the seven libraries and also goes to Pike County. We have tech time at all seven libraries now. There's a schedule that you can find on our website, which is waynelibraries.org. And there are times for all seven libraries to have the tech tutors available for people. And if you're looking for improving your skills to get a job, we can also help with that too. It's almost everything you can think of as far as tech, we can help you learn. If you haven't been in a library in a while, we invite you to stop in because we're very different from the libraries of the past. We're actually very noisy sometimes and we don't shush people anymore. And you can just come here, get a table and chat with some people, join a group, um, learn something new. The members of the Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau greatly appreciate the work they do to help our area grow and develop. And don't forget, if you have visitors to your Lake Region home, Bring them over to the Lake Well and Paul Pack Visitor Center. We are open seven days a week. They can choose from hundreds of brochures and pick up maps of the Pocono Mountains region. And remember to like us on Facebook. And for general information, go to our website at PoconoMountains.com. Introducing Skinny's Webworks, a mobile first design studio. We offer social and advertising services, unforgettable websites, and everything else you need for your business. 
Skinny's Webworks is a unique company who puts your business in front of the right customers to make your dream a reality. At Skinny's Webworks, we work for you. Visit us today at skinnyswebworks.com. The 2016 Holly Winterfest was a winter wonderland as the town came together for its annual celebration of the season. The Virgin Consort, an elegant blend of traditional and Victorian carols, medieval and renaissance sacred works rung in the holiday season Friday evening. <laughs> Festival goers woke up to a Winterfest breakfast deal at Trisha's Bagels on Main Street. First Presbyterian Church held its 16th annual cookie walk, where over 5,000 handmade gourmet cookies and candies were for sale. The Hawley Library had events going on all weekend, including a Relay for Life Tree of Hope, arts and crafts, music performances, a soup sale, author book signing, and basket raffle. B. Madigan Jewelry hosted a visit with Santa and Dorflinger Glass demonstration. Children could get their picture taken with Santa, and they witnessed 100-year-old pieces of glass being made into beautiful glass beads and jewelry. Visitors could ride in style on a horse and carriage from Miss Ellie's Antiques and such, while the Winterfest flyer on the Stourbridge line offered up 45-minute rides down the Lackawaxen River. Cocoon Coffee House hosted a sculpted ice bar created by Sculpted Ice Works. Winterfest for me is, it's always been a really great traditional event that my family is, and I have come to, especially as a child, and I think Winterfest for the community is amazing because in the winter it's dead around here, so it just brings a lot of like tourism and it shows people how beautiful this area really is when they want to come here this time of year. The Ritz Company Playhouse entertained Winterfest visitors with their annual original Christmas show. The show was free, but the production quality would make you think you emptied your pockets to be there. It's drunk and cold, you idiot. <laughs> now go and get a body and don't come back now. Get into the lab. Everyone. There's going to be a party tonight. A party tonight. <laughs> Holly Winterfest continues to be a joyous celebration of the winter season year after year, and 2016 proved to be no different. Join us as we go out in the open. Hi, I'm Alex Zedock. And I'm Joanne Zedock. Join us every Thursday night as we bring you the latest tips and information on boating, camping, hunting, fishing, and the environment. Helping you make the most of your Pocono outdoor experience. So remember, tune us in every Thursday evening at 9.30 on BRC 13. Hi, I'm Bobby Cush with Lighthouse Harbor Marina. I'd like to take a few minutes to play a video introduction of our new business opening on Lake Wall and Paul Pack this spring called Freedom Boat Club. So you want to know what this whole Freedom Boat Club thing is all about. Simply put, we're a club that makes boating, well, simple. Here's how it works. You join the club, you pay a one-time membership fee, and then monthly dues from there on out, and instantly you get access to a fleet of boats. All those little expenses and annoyances, 
the maintenance, the dock fees, storage fees, parts and cleaning, basically all the hassles of boating, forget them. In fact, crumple that list up and toss it away. As a member, their entire fleet is at your disposal. Deck boats, fishing boats and bow riders, pontoons and cruisers, you get to use them all, and you can use them as often as you like. And you can bring anyone aboard that you like. Friends, family, guests, children, clients, even pets. All those things you imagine boating to be suddenly become reality. Look at all these boats. You could go fishing, cruising, or beaching. You could go tubing, water skiing, or exploring. Maybe drop anchor and go swimming, snorkeling, or take it even deeper and go scuba diving. At your own risk, of course. Let's do an example. Let's say you want to try out your new membership. Choose the day you want to go out and the boat you're looking for. So how about a bow rider on Tuesday? So what do you do? That Tuesday, you show up at the dock and find your bow rider fueled up and waiting for you. From here, it's up to you. Maybe cruise up the coast, stop somewhere for lunch, maybe float for a while. Regardless, when you're done, you simply head back to the dock where the boat club staff will be waiting. Leave the boat with them, and that's it. With us, there are no trailers needed to haul boats. There is no cleaning, no boat maintenance. There are truly no hassles. You just show up, hop in, and take off. When you're done, hop off and head for home. From seashores to lakeshores, Freedom Boat Club has numerous locations all of which allow you to travel to any Freedom Boat Club location and explore new waters. So, come on. The boat's waiting. For more information, please contact us at 570-226-4556. Make your visit to the Poconos the best it can be. Go to visitpoconos.com. Explore events, attractions, lodging, dining, shopping, and more. Visit Poconos is your one-stop shop. Be in the know and visit Poconos.com. A healthy septic system requires regular maintenance and checkups. Regardless of the time of year, Earth Care can meet all of your septic and drain needs. It's our mission to extend the life of your system and protect your investment. Whether it's routine service, repairs, or new septic system, Earth Care is uniquely qualified. Sign up for our maintenance program. We'll take the hassle out of septic system ownership and provide you with a septic system warranty. Remember, Earth Care for your home and business for all septic, drain, and grease pumping needs. Earth Care, there when you need us. Probably one of the most frequently asked questions that I'm asked is, do I need a will? Hello, I'm Jack Spall. The simple answer to that question is yes. However, let's look at the definition and purpose of a will. A will or testament is the legal declaration of the intentions that a person desires to be performed after his or her death. The will or testament can be changed with a codicil. A codicil is an amendment or supplement to a will to be taken as part of the will or a further explanation or alter the will. Why do a will? Here's a good example. A married man with a young family died and their residence and his other assets were solely in his name. He left a wife and young children. Everyone thought these assets would pass directly to his wife. But without a will, that did not happen. Under Pennsylvania law, some of his assets went to his wife, but the remainder went to his very young children, which was not his intention, and this precluded his wife from using those assets. Another legal document is a durable general power of attorney. This essential document in the estate planning process is a necessary companion piece to the last will and testament. A durable power of attorney empowers another person to act as an agent to manage your affairs, handle your property, both real and personal, in the event you are unable to act for yourself. The power of attorney may avoid the appointment of a guardian, which will save both cost and restrictions, as well as mandatory reporting if appointed by a court. It is common practice to have two separate durable power of attorneys with one containing financial and management powers and the other containing health care powers. And there is a third document that requires mention. With the passage of the Advanced Directive for Health Care Act in 2006, there are now clear and legal guidelines to the execution, operation, and legal significance of living wills, which are properly called Advanced Health Care Directives. This document permits you to express your wishes for medical treatment through your designated agent if you are unable to communicate your own decisions. 
Copies of these original directives should be given to your physician, your designated health care facility, and family members. These directives should also be kept at readily accessible locations. At Spall, Radzewski, Anderson, Lolly, and Tunis, we're here for you. If you have any questions about these documents or any other legal matter, contact us at 570-226-6229 or find us on the web at PoconoLawyers.net. Call us. We can help. Wally Lake Fest is the biggest event on Lake Lawn Pawpack in the summer. But what is there in the winter? For the first time ever, two of the lake's biggest annual events come together to become the first ever Wally Ice Fest. Wally Ice Fest is a, a new festival that we put together. It's a, a group of individuals and organizations try to maximize a, a full weekend of events, specifically on Lake Wallen Paul Pack. Wally Ice Fest is going to be January 28th and 29th. It's a combination of taking the Chamber of the Northern Poconos Ice Tea Golf, which has been going on for decades. Basically, they develop two nine-hole courses that people pay to play, and it's a fundraiser for the Chamber. And the primary day is going to be that Sunday, the 29th, where they'll also have the craziest hat contest, most creative sled, but it's really based on a group of uh, pond hockey uh, aficionados, guys that really enjoy playing hockey and, and bring you back pond hockey. That, that is a, a weekend tournament, both Saturday and Sunday, guys and women who are gonna be coming up playing pond hockey in different classes. And so those were the two major pieces that came together um, to make this a, a Wally Ice Fest weekend. And then from that, the Paul Pack Plunge decided to shift their date to be on that Saturday, January 28th. The Paul Pack Plunge supports uh, the dive teams of Tafton and Ledgedale, and they see the advantage of coupling that with the other events that are going on to make it a much bigger, uh, fun-filled weekend of uh, winter activities and, and things to do. Our goal is that we're going to get other businesses to add their unique flair to that weekend. For instance, um, Crystal Cabin Fever. They will hopefully have their museum open that weekend, so there'll be activities uh, that those families, many of them may not want to plunge into the lake. And what can I do that's still warm and educational? Well, they can go over uh, just across the lake and learn how ice was harvested in the winter time and how they create these beautiful creations in ice and how they produce that ice. So it really provides a platform for many businesses and organizations, if they desire, to become a part of. Because of weather and safety, the Wally Ice Fest Committee will make a decision on January 16th uh, whether to postpone the, the event or if it's going to go as planned. And that will be listed on uh, the websites, the WallyIceFest.com, Northern Poconos Chamber.com website, Paw Pack Plunge. If you hit any of those major websites, it'll redirect to the other ones so that you can register for golf, register for hockey, register for the plunge, and then also see the events that are going on. We look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for joining us for this issue of Wally Life. If you have a business or service you would like to see featured in a future issue, email jason at wallylife.com. To view previous issues of our show, go to thepoconochannel.com.